Dispensing Station Equipment Dispenser Components In order to dispense propane safely, you should be familiar with the equipment you are working with and how to use it. The following section talks about equipment that is common to most dispensing stations. If you have a large propane dispensing facility or bulk plant, go to the Resources section of this video and view the Bulk Plant Equipment module. There are two common types of propane dispensing station setups, vertical tank dispensers and horizontal tank dispensers. Dispensing equipment often varies from facility to facility. Your system may or may not have all of the following components. An ASME storage tank that supplies propane to the dispensing equipment. Valves that control the flow of propane through the piping system. Extra heavy piping and forged steel pipe fittings. A propane pump driven by an explosion-proof electric motor. A platform scale that weighs cylinders during and after filling. Automatic pump bypass return valves that protect the pump, piping, and hoses against excessively high pressures when the hose end valves are closed and the pump is running. Electrical wiring, fixtures, and switches that control the propane pump motor and assist in emergency shutdown. A metering system that measures liquid propane transferred into containers. Propane transfer hose assemblies for cylinder filling and ASME tank filling. Hose end adapters that accommodate the different valves used on DOT cylinders and ASME tanks, which will be discussed later in the video. An emergency breakaway device for vehicle mounted containers that is designed to provide protection in case of a pullaway by stopping the flow of gas if a customer drives away with the hose attached. A fenced enclosure, a lockable cabinet to secure the dispenser, or devices to secure the valves should be used to prevent unauthorized operation of equipment when not in use. Depending on the site and enclosure, traffic barricades may also be required. Shutdown Components There are two types of shutdown systems. Manual shutdown dispensers stop the flow of liquid into cylinders by manually closing one or more valves. They rely on the operator to determine when the maximum permitted filling limit for a cylinder is reached. Automatic shutdown systems are primarily used where several cylinders are being filled simultaneously, such as a cylinder dock, to reduce the possibility of overfilling cylinders. They normally consist of a sensor or trip lever mounted on the balance beam of a scale and a master control valve that stops the flow of liquid propane to the dispensing hose. The dispenser tank in your facility may be equipped with an internal excess flow valve in combination with a positive shutoff valve. Internal valves that incorporate excess flow protection are also common and may include thermal and remote shutoff capabilities. Remote shutdown stations may also be installed to provide a greater level of emergency support away from the pump and transfer location. Ball valves control the flow of propane from the supply tank through the piping. A ball valve is open when the valve handle is parallel with the piping. It is closed when the handle is perpendicular to the piping. Globe valves are similar to water faucets and are operated by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise to open and clockwise to close. They must be either fully open or fully closed. Hose end valves stop the flow of propane as part of the container filling operation. As another safeguard against overfilling, hose end valves are quick closing or snap acting. Many also have a safety latch to prevent accidental opening when the valve is not connected for filling. Measuring Components Platform balance beam scales determine when the proper filling weight for cylinders is reached and when to stop the flow of propane into the cylinder. Platform scales can be either single beam, double beam, or digital. All require periodic maintenance and should be checked for accuracy based on the manufacturer's instructions. In many states and jurisdictions, scales must have certification decals from weights and measure officials 
and be inspected periodically and calibrated for accuracy. Scales must also be leveled and protected from weather, especially accumulation of water, debris, snow or ice. Preparing the dispenser The first step in preparing the dispenser for operation is to unlock the cabinet or other locking devices and open any or all entry gates. If the dispenser is equipped with a cabinet, unlock the cabinet and verify that the hose end valves are closed. Slowly open the liquid outlet valve and the first downstream manual valve. If you hear a snapping noise, this means the valves have been opened too quickly and the excess flow valve may have closed. If the excess flow valve closes or slugs, proceed as follows. Close the downstream manual valve. Wait patiently for the excess flow valve to open. You may hear it click. Open the valve slowly to avoid a sudden increase in flow. Inspect all valves, piping, transfer hose and fittings for proper operation. Inspect the threads of all connection adapters, especially brass, for excess wear. Make sure the gaskets and O-rings, if equipped, are in place and in good working condition. Inspect for leaks. If you suspect a leak, shut down the system, immediately leave the area, and contact your supervisor. Dispenser shutdown. When the dispenser is not in use, or when a qualified operator is not present, the dispenser should be shut down and secured. To shut down the dispenser, close all valves at the storage tank. If so equipped, place the dust cap or plug in the hose end valve or filling adapter. Store the filler hose in the proper location. Close and lock the cabinet, fence gates, and other locking devices. Becoming familiar with the dispensing equipment and how it works will help you to fill cylinders safely and protect your customers, your workplace, and yourself.